After a tactical pause, Russian-led forces continued their advance in the north of the Donetsk People's Republic. The offensive is carried out by the joint forces of the Russian Federation and People's Militias of the Republics. After the severodonetsk lysychansk region was secured, the territory of the entire Luhansk People's Republic came out from Kiev's control. Today, forces of the LPR are fighting in the neighboring Donetsk Republic. LPR military officials declared their goal was to push Ukrainian units away from the frontiers of the Republic in order to put an end to the constant shelling of civilians by Ukrainian Nazis. On July 13th, Russian-led forces entered the cities of Solodar and Siversk in the Donetsk People's Republic. Fighting on the city's outskirts were announced by the DPR and LPR officials and confirmed by military reporters in the area. The military declared that the city of Siversk came under operational control of joint forces. Fighting broke out on the outskirts after the assault groups entered the city from the eastern direction. About five foreign M777 howitzers, along with an ammunition depot, were destroyed at night in the Bakhmut region. The major battle for Slavyansk is approaching. Breaking through Ukrainian defenses to the east, Russian forces are approaching the city from the northern direction. Russian units are already deployed seven kilometers from the town, and the last obstacle for their advance is the forest area where prolonged battles continue. Russian troops have advanced along the Bakhmenkova Slavyansk Highway, and clashes have almost reached the city's outskirts. In Slavyansk, the Zaya Ceramics plant, where the armed forces of Ukraine established their military positions, was shelled. The Ukrainian military in the city of Kramatorsk, which is still relatively far from the front lines, are also constantly pounded by Russian artillery and warplanes. The Ukrainian military positions in a local machine-building plant and the industrial area of the city were recently hit by Russian forces. Russian-led forces are yet to destroy the Ukrainian defenses along the bakhmut solodar Siversk front lines. Ukrainian forces are still holding their positions in various villages in the region, preventing Russian units from attacking strongholds in the cities from several directions. 